when the Buddha was finishing a Dharma talk and telling the monks to go meditate. He didn't say, go do samatha or go do vipassana. He said, go do jhana. No, it's do concentration. The samatha, tranquility, and the vipassana, insight, those are qualities of mind that you bring to the practice of jhana, bring to the practice of concentration. And they get developed as you bring them. It's like bringing your body to an exercise. You engage in the exercise, and the body that you brought gets stronger. Of course, when you're doing jhana, you're not focusing on jhana itself. You're focusing on the breath. So for the time being, make the breath the one thing you're interested in right now. Give it your total attention and be totally aware of it all around. Think of it filling up all your awareness so there's no room for anything else. That's the kind of breath you want to focus on. And then try to stay there. And you see that in staying there, you have to talk to yourself a bit. Ask yourself, does the breath feel really good? Is there any way that it can be improved? And if it's already good, what can be done to maintain that? And when it's maintained, how can you spread it around? You'll have that conversation. And you'll have an image in mind of how the breath surrounds you, how your awareness is all around. And there'll be a feeling of pleasure. All these things are sankharas, fabrications, things you put together around the breath. And these are the things you need to know. So everything you need to know <coughs> gathers right here. And on terms where it's really useful to look at it. When you step back from your inner conversation, realize that you're directing your thoughts and you're evaluating things, and that's all it is. It helps pull you out. And then you can understand these fabrications better and better. So we're doing a lot of things right here. We're, we're accomplishing a lot of things by doing this one thing, trying to stay with the breath, with a sense of ease, with a sense that this is our home. The word jhana is related to a verb, jayanti, which means to burn. Now in Pali they have different verbs for burn. A regular fire is jalati, the kind of fire that has flames that flicker here and there. But a steady flame, like the flame of an oil lamp, that's jayanti. That's the quality you're trying to develop in the mind. And as you do that, as I said, all the important things you need to know are going to gather right here, all in one convenient location.